So five oversold stocks worth considering to buy here today, guys. We're about to close Friday, the last, the last Friday, the last week of September, trading month, and boy, it was a good month. Everybody was talking about the red September. Looks like we averaged back to the mean now. What does it take to buy an oversold stock? Sometimes you like it just for the valuation. We talk about this. You can make a fundamental thesis, a bull case. And I've presented various bull cases and some of them have taken some time, but they're finally taken off, right? All throughout here, and not just me, a lot of people knew that Alibaba was very undervalued, right? Made a couple of bull case videos. It's finally skyrocketing, but hey, it's too late, right? You don't want, you know, after you're, you're in up 50% in one or two months, you don't want to chase that. You want to confirm with that volume and that momentum, which is confirmed with a weekly green tag and back above the moving average. Hey, that should be on your watch list, right? That's something you definitely want to buy a pullback on because it has now, you have the fundamental bull case video, valuation's good, everything's good, um, earnings, um, growth, all that. And so now it confirms it with the technicals. Now you look to get involved if you weren't involved already. Okay, on the lower time frame, gave a couple of opportunities, but like I said, now it's up over 50%. So what are the next ones, right? What are the next ones? And Alibaba here, you know, have it on your watch list, right? I am involved in one of the Chinese uh, stocks is doing very, very well this week, as, as the Discord knows, and a lot of us are involved in these. So that's, that's good to see, okay? Rocket Lab is another one, right? Rocket Lab, shout out to Frank, right? And a couple of other guys um, in, the, in the Discord who took Rocket Lab. You can see we have a shade flip down here. We have a shade flip down here. Shade flip was when the green shade turns off and the pendulum goes from red to green. Nice bottoming signal in the morning star divergent shade flip, okay? So Rocket Lab, a lot of us loaded up um, around four bucks. That's up almost 200%, right? That's triple your money. I'm not involved in Rocket Lab, but good to see um, uh, a lot of people in, in the team are involved and profiting. This thing's about to hit $10. Absolutely monster move. Um, and you know, that's, that's a long-term IPO base, something else that should be on your watch list, right? And something else that um, is, is confirming momentum, right? as we scale into this growth growth cycle, second half of this bull market, and as this company continues to mature, definitely one to watch for potential buys in the future. Rocket Lab, um, I'll, I'll cover it again soon. I like to cover it a few times a year um, throughout their earnings calls, as you guys know. Another, well, another one was NEO, right? Look at NEO. NEO we've covered several times. Look at NEO down here, right? Six months ago, I did make the, you know, this will never be that cheap again video. NEO's bottom, here's the, the, the green shade flip bar. That was the bottom. It did double bottom, right? But it made a higher low, double bottom with divergence, divergent pendulum. And so a shade flip in the first bottom and then a momentum candle in the second bottom. That's that candle with the green dot above it, right? And so NEO's breaking through trend lines with a momentum candle after a double bottom. It's got the China thing going for it. It's got the EV thing going for it with lowering of interest rates and easing policy um, people can can buy high ticket items like electric vehicles again it's been cyclical and it's been in a down cycle but that's about to change right and not only that but the fed is easing and now china is super easing so it's got the chinese you know the chinese literally giving loans to companies to buy back shares of their own of their own companies it's insane so they're easing they're cutting rates they're 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 um, buying for the balance sheet and they are giving these loans to companies for buying back shares. So nice momentum candle inside bar, nice breakout again, momentum candle. This one's still early, it's still well below <clears throat> the weekly 144 EMA, which got rejected last time and it's been rejected in this bear market. So Neo, lots of opportunities to, to get involved here, right? There's gonna be opportunities. Here's a fresh daily green tag, the retest of the EMAs on the daily. That's a nice entry right there. Four hour presented a nice entry, um, fresh day, fresh four hour green tag and lower time frame as well. That first pullback, um, sort of a bull flag into the short term moving average and the short term Fibonacci. That's a nice one as well. You know that that one right there is up. 30% in just a week. So again, momentum is the key to all of this. You know, without the fresh green tag and the lower time frame green tag, you don't buy this. You don't buy those pullbacks. You don't have confidence. Without the green dots on the chart, you don't buy it. If the correction tags red, right? So you lose your green tag or it gets pink or red dots, you don't buy it, right? When you see these pink dots, when you see these red dots, you expect lower lows, you expect, and then when you see the green tag, and, and same with the red dots on the lower time frame, and when you see the momentum going in your direction, when you see no red flags on your pullback, you don't want heavy sellers on the correction. When something's strong, it should be strong. So the correction should be weak. 
And then that tells you that's a key time to buy. When you have a presence of red flags, when a sell-off is stronger than usual, you're seeing heavy selling momentum, then just stay away. There's plenty of good setups. And so that's why we read momentum so we can find the best setups. Okay, so that's Neo. And what can come next? Well, number one is gonna be uh, MC, which is Louis Vuitton. This stock sold off, right? This, these highs are back in April, 2023. So 532 days, finally bottoming here. This is a falling wedge. Okay, and so this is a, I, was, I tried to play this um, in the prop and I got stopped out, unfortunately. But look at this, right? This one had, <clears throat> this was a great trade right here. This is, you know, fresh green tax, pull back to the long-term moving average. That gave a good trade. But then, you know, it's been bearish, right? Now we're making lower lows, a little failed shade flip right here. But of course, if you know how to read momentum, you wouldn't take that because the pink dot, lower time frame, red tag, the volume below the EMAs, it's not that textbook setup, right? You want to be above the EMAs, retesting them with no red flags. Anyways, point is now super strong candle, right? This thing in one week is up 20% right? It's got a momentum candle. It's got a strong pendulum bar, strong volume, and it looks to be recovering here. China announced its largest stimulus package since the pandemic, expected to boost consumer spending in the luxury market. These are luxury goods, right? And they don't all, you know, if something like Ferrari it doesn't really dip, right? So it's not like the high interest rate environment luxury usually retain their value. And that's what we're seeing right here, right? So over here, if you take a Fibonacci, and sorry for my Troy is uh, outside trying to open a door, 382 right here. So that's a 382 Fibonacci level that is trying to bounce off of, trying to close above the long-term moving average. Um, you know, it is a long, you know, long candle. So your risk reward isn't the best, but you know, you still got, you know, two to one kind of thing to get involved. You can wait for a pullback as it's making higher highs on the daily time frame and uh, the four hour here as well. Okay, so look for a pullback to your key levels, to your moving averages, draw your Fibonacci on the four hour, see that fresh four hour green tag, that's the key. That's the only reason we're interested in buying these pullbacks. If we didn't have that, we wouldn't be interested. So that should be on your watch list as well. The next one is SMCI. They got hit by the short report, um, which always tanks the stock. There was some talk of accounting fraud and things of that nature. But it seems like a lot of those allegations were not super honest, right? Um, you know, the, that accounting fraud, it was an issue four years ago. They fixed it in 2020. And they're kind of just assuming it's happening again. And then uh, tons of other allegations. You can go read the short report and read some people's answers to them and why they think that it's it's kind of sketch. It's not, the, you know, it's not the truth. Um, but this, either way, this is a leader in the bull market, right? If you look at something like SMCI, it's extremely undervalued. Um, it's trading at only 11 times next year's earnings. You can see the short interest right there, right? That's crazy. But it's trading at 11 times next year's earnings. Look at these numbers, right? 0 0.26 peg ratio, zero. This is one of the best values I've ever seen, right? And it's obviously a high grower because this is a super important blue chip semiconductor stock like Nvidia. Actually, I think it outperformed Nvidia in this bull market, right? And so SMCI is a super fast grower like Nvidia, but you don't see Nvidia down 70%. So that's a huge discount on this stock. Not only does it have the semiconductor AI thing going for it, but it also has the China thing going for it. This is China's largest semiconductor stock. This is the leader over there. So it has both of those themes, the AI semiconductor theme and the Chinese bull market theme with that stimulus, right? So this is a key level right here. Um, this is, you draw your Fibonacci kind of from swing high to swing low. You're, you're almost at your 382. You have your long-term weekly moving average right here. And so it's trying to double bottom here. And this was a trade I was thinking about this morning in Discord. I didn't want to risk it, right? I'm going to wait for more confirmation. I don't need to call the exact bottom. Um, I'm going to let it kind of play itself out and look for an entry here in the coming days. But I think it's one you got to pay attention to. But again, go read those reports and see what you think about uh, this. Like, like most arguments in the short are unfounded. You know, go, go read and, and make up your decision. They're also um, having some issues with the DOJ. So that's something else. Next one is Celsius, right? Celsius here, one of the fastest growing stocks in the world, right? The new Red Bull, the new monster. Um, you know, it's now, it's no, no longer a duopoly in the energy drink market. They're taking over. I made a bull case for this video. It's been super strong. I don't think the growth story is over for Celsius. They differentiate themselves by appealing to more to women, to, to like yoga, to different kinds of sports, not just extreme athlete kind of thing like Red Bull and Monster. So they appeal to just exercise, healthy fitness lifestyle, fat burning lifestyle as well. 
instead of just extreme sports. So they have a much wider audience and a lot more growth to come as they expand internationally. I think this thing is heavily sold off on some, some mistakes that Pepsi made with the distributions, but that's already in the past. And look at this verticality, right? This is here at this key level right here in between the 50 and the 618 Fibonacci on the weekly green shade oversold conditions. And so I don't love it. There's no trade setup yet, but as a value investor, I think this is very interesting. 70% off for a stock like Celsius, um, which is still a fast growing company. You can see that growth rate is an A, right? And um, you know it has that 37 next year's earnings because of that factor, right? Because of the growth expected to grow revenues by 38% and earnings even more by 74% next year. Okay, you can go to profitability as well and look at these margins and these are great numbers right here. So this company 70% off seems like a bargain for the value investor. Okay, and so this is nothing that's tagged green yet or it's not like a trading setup. It's more of a value investment. Same as Elf, right? Elf is another one. I've made a bull case so you can check that video out. This one's stronger, right? Elf is stronger because it's it's testing the key moving average, right? Remember, Celsius is below it on the weekly, but it's at a key level still, right? And so this is interesting. And again, you see a green shade flip here. That was a nice trade, a green shade flip right here. That was a nice trade. Elf is testing this key level. It's got green shade on, green shade flip right here. That was a nice trade. And this is the, the reason these stocks are interesting because since the bull market began, this is the first test, the first test of the long-term moving average, the 144 weekly moving average, right? Usually in a bull market, in the bull cycle, if a stock's gonna go up for many years, that first test of the long-term weekly moving average is just a key level, right? Those stocks that go up for two, three, four, five, six, seven, 10 years, 20 years, um, you zoom back out, Okay, and it's like this doesn't happen very often, right? And so it's you should at least be paying attention to this, seeing how this develops, right? Maybe a morning star shade flip going to be very interesting um, for for Elf here. Okay, so daily trying to double bottom there. You do have divergence with the pendulum. You do have divergence with the dots. We'll see what happens. You rather wait for confirmation, let it break out through the neckline, tag green on the four hour, pull back, look for that trade as a trading setup. That's another option. Last one here I'm gonna talk about is Coinbase, right? Coinbase, I was kind of looking at it bearishly. Um, this is kind of head and shoulders forming and it still could form. I would love Coinbase under 100, but I'm not sure if we're gonna get there in this environment. It probably depends on what stocks and what crypto is going to do. Okay, this is that key level. We had consolidation back here. The left shoulder is in through here. So the right shoulder could still form here. We broke through this descending channel. And so we were retesting. I was, I was thinking last week, you know, this is a pretty, this would be a nice bull flag, a bear flag. I'm sorry, right into the EMAs, but it's seeming to not do that, right? This week is putting in a shade flip candle, first of all high volume, above average volume. So a lot of buyers are coming in. It's looking to close back above the long-term and the medium-term moving averages. You did not get the death cross. Your moving averages are still in order. So this would negate the bear flag. The other important thing is um, on this down move, you never tagged the lower time frame red. So you never got enough setting momentum to really establish a bearish bias. So now that's looking like a potential false breakdown, right? Um, right there with the inside bar breaks to the upside. Coinbase is a very interesting one if you're interested in a crypto trade. Maybe this starts to look more like a symmetrical triangle um, consolidation that's going to break out here to the upside, right? And so that is maybe how I should draw it here. And if it head and shoulders formulates, I'll go back to the old way. Um, but that is, again, that 236, that long-term EMA right there. We got a bounce off there last time. Shade flip here in the right shoulder. Shade flip here at the absolute bottom of the stock as well. Even in the left shoulder, a shade flip had a nice, you know, four or five week trade. Remember, this was the giant head and shoulders right here. Breakout, fresh green tag, green dots. Pull back to the EMAs. Green shade flip was the entry. That was up. Um, you know, almost four times your money. So this is uh, an interesting, you know, impulsive move, bullish pennant, ABCD potential long-term play. If this holds, people might be shaken out here, right there off that pivot break. An interesting one to pay attention to if you want crypto exposure. Thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy your Friday. Shout out to everyone in the Discord making money this week. Lots of people, good to see the community absolutely thriving, killing it. We're just in there trading momentum every single day, looking for the best setups. So if you want to join us, there's still a 10% discount until the end of today. 
Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for 2,700 subs. Channel's finally starting to grow again. So I'd really appreciate a thumbs up comment so we can really kind of pound that algorithm into the floor and uh, get to 3K here. All right, guys, much love. Peace.